All right, I have a question for you. What do you think? To go over an existing roof or to strip the existing roof? Give me your comments. If you're gonna buy a commercial building, one of the things you need to inspect is the roof. Very important. So what do you look for on a roof? Let me show you. This is a roof. Uh, it's called a it's called a SBS roof. It's not a torch down, but it looks like torch down. They're both modified by Tumen. You got to see the seams. Every three foot is a seam. So you know now what type of roof you have. You either have a modified by Tumen roof or you have a TPO roof or you have an EPDM roof or a metal roof. Those are the four common roofs that you will find on commercial roofs. What do you look for on a modified bitumen roof? This is not torch down, this is a SBS. You look at this, you see this bubble? That's, that's already a telltale sign that you're gonna have to replace it. But the most important part is, look at the tar. They put tar on the seams. Every seam has a tar, has tar on it. Look at it. That, that is a no-no. If you're gonna buy a, a, a commercial building and they have tar on every seam, you can negotiate the price. One of the things is tar. Don't, don't think the roof is okay because that roof's been leaking. That's why it's been tarred everywhere. All right, that's one of the tips. The next tip is, what do they do on the edge here? Look, look at the edge. Tar. You see the tar? Look at the tar cracking away here. If there's tar everywhere, that is so important. If there's tar everywhere on anything, that's not a way to do a roof. That's not, they did, something went wrong. So you, you want to negotiate the price or understand what you're getting on into. If there's tar on seams, on the, on the edges, on anything, then you know you're gonna have to replace the roof. All right, so just because the roof, that existing roof is bad, like this one with all the tar on the seams, you see the tar, just because it's bad, doesn't mean you should take it off. The reason I never take a roof off, this is the best, best surface to torch to. It's a modified bitumen, and I'm torching a modified bitumen, and I'm fusing the two together. I have to overheat the old surface. This is very hard and dry. So I gotta overheat it so it will melt to it, okay? I want to show you what, even if this roof was not installed properly, the old one, if you use that as your base, you're going to have the best roof. So never strip an old modified bitumen roof. Never. I'm going to show you why. Check this out. Let me see if I can um, cut this open. Oh, that is so tough to cut this open. First of all, it is super, super thick. I don't think I can cut it open. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can cut it open. Let's see. Uh, uh. Eish, mama, this is tough. I don't know if it's gonna come up. Let's see. I wanna show you how good this is, but I cannot even bring it up. There you go. Uh. Wow. Ay. That's why I say, never strip it. Look how good this roof is. I cannot get it up. I cannot get it up. 
that's how good this roof is. All right. First of all, that's how tough it is. Look at the thickness there. Look at the thickness. You cannot beat this. Let me cut this out. That was hard to do. All right. Fuse together the old roof and a new roof. You cannot beat this. This is the best. All right. So, I don't recommend stripping any roof. If you have a torch down or an old modified and it's leaking, just use that as the surface and you'll have the best, best roof. There's nothing that can beat this. Nothing. There's nothing, no EPDM, no TPO, no, there's no other system that can beat this. Nothing. This is the best. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make a patch. I'll make a patch. I'll show you. you want me to show you a patch? This is a perfect one. In the back, it's a big piece. Uh, you can get it. Right there. Inside the back. Wait, in the back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you put it. Big piece. Alright, let me do it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me see the Okay, now I'm gonna fix a patch. So the best, everybody. Right. Cut me a square. All right. People want me to cut the corners like that, round the corners. You want that small torch? No. So you make the round corners like this. Alright, that's what. Alright, so you put the patch over that. what it should look like. A little bit smaller patch, but you get the idea. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, that's how you make a patch. All right, I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Blah, blah, blah. Do you think it's okay that, that way they 